This basic differential controller uses the misters to sense a difference in temperature between collector and storage, and an indicator lamp to indicate that temperature differential. When the collector temperature is higher than the storage temperature, a pump is activated to transfer collected solar heat into a heat storage facility. Since thermistor resistance decreases as temperature increases, a set of thermistors may be connected in series to a known voltage source to monitor the differential temperature between probes. When both probes are the same temperature, their resistance will be the same, and the common thermistor junction will have a voltage output midway between the divider supply voltage and zero volts. If a 5 volt regulator is used across the divider and both thermistors have the same temperature, the midway junction output would be 2.5 volts. As collector temperature increases with respect to storage temperature, the voltage at the common junction will also increase. When the voltage at the common junction is sufficiently high, a relay is activated, which turns on a pump to collect solar heat from a collector and deposit that heat into a heat storage facility. A differential of 0.1 volts represents a temperature difference of 3 degrees. So, when the common junction voltage changes from 2.5 volts to 3 volts, a voltage differential of 0.5 volts indicates a temperature differential of 3 times 5 or 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now let's see this differential indicator in action. Okay, here's our controller with the differential indicator. We know that the differential controller works by sensing a difference between collector temperature and storage temperature. When the collector temperature, this is the collector probe, gets higher than the storage temperature, this is the storage probe, it will activate a relay which in turn activates a pump to harvest the heat energy from the sun. Okay, and this relay here, by the way, uh, it can uh, operate either an AC pump or a DC pump and uh, it can handle uh, more than 200 watts of power. I've actually uh, tested this uh, for 24 hours uh, with a 500 watt load. Anyway, uh, so we have the thermistor probe. These are the probes, they're thermistors, and they change resistance as temperature changes. As the probe gets hotter, the resistance in the probe drops. So uh, for the collector probe, since the positive 5 volts is connected to the uh, top lead of the uh, collector thermistor, as the temperature increases, the voltage at the common junction will increase. This is the common junction, and this is where both the probes are connected. And as that uh, temperature increases, this green differential indicator will glow more brightly. When the temperature reaches a, a, a set temperature determined by this differential pot adjustment, the red light will come on and it will activate the relay. Okay, uh, let's just take a quick look at this and see what happens. First of all, let's take a look at the actual temperature in the common junction. We can see it's 2.5 volts. Now what that means is that's midway between 5 volts and 0 volts and both uh, probes are at the same temperature. If we increase the temperature in the collector probe, and I'll do that by adding heat to the collector probe, you can see the voltage start to rise and eventually the pump will come on when it reaches about 3 volts in this case. And 3 volts indicates a temperature differential between these two probes of approximately 15 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see that the voltage start to drop. You see the green light, uh, light intensity start to diminish and eventually when the temperature difference, uh, the uh, difference between the temperature of these probes gets less, it'll turn the pump off. And you can see at 2.64 volts the uh, green light is dim and the pump comes off. That represents a temperature of uh, 
between 3 and 4 degrees. And that's a, a fairly good setting for a, a differential controller, um, but you can adjust that. If we turn it in the other uh, direction, if we turn it totally clockwise, uh, co clockwise, counterclockwise, I'm sorry, uh, if we turn it totally clockwise, it's going to take a lot more heat to turn that on. Now you might say, well, what do you want to do that for? Well, if you have a photovoltaic system, you only want to, uh, with very limited power resources, you want to conserve as much energy as possible. So you only want to turn that pump on when, when that collector gets good and hot. Now you can see we've already uh, we've already increased the voltage at the common junction uh, it's uh, 3.4 volts and that uh, turns the pump on. That's a differential of between 25 and 30 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see now the temperature is starting to drop so at a, at a differential temperature of 15 degrees the pump shuts off. Anyway, uh, that's how uh, we can adjust the controller and we can actually observe uh, the differential between the collector temperature and the storage temperature by observing the intensity of the uh, green lamp. Okay, well, uh, that's the uh, basic idea.